Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> ladies and gents i hope you're excited for this because i am so uh what we have here is we have eight players playing force nothing and the ultimate goal is to control this monument because it's king of the hill okay but we're playing with the 10 times shared civ bonus mod and so this means team bonuses but this also means like starting bonuses for civilizations all right so the biggest example we could talk about right off the bat is Chinese because Chinese start with three additional villagers. So that's that three multiplied by 10, which means everyone here has 33 villagers. We'll have a lot of time to talk about it, but look at this. <laughs> how, how are you supposed to manage 33 villagers? There's not even 33 trees around that you can chop. So, yeah, this is extremely stressful. So, we'll talk about all the bonuses that can come into play here. But it's important to note, the way we made this work was we made them start off as allies. And they it's, it's like Diplo settings, so they can remove that alliance later. So, it's a little bit of a loophole. So, in the gray... Uh, hold on. What does their stockpile look like? Okay, I don't know how they're at minus 300 food. What happened there? Wait! Is that because Chinese start with zero food? No. Typically? I, I don't know. We got to figure this out. So let me just get the introductions in. There's a lot of crazy things that could happen here. In the gray, we have Bohemians or some noob. Um, in the blue, we have DG, who's playing as the Byzantines. In the red, we have Red Clifford, who's playing as the Khmer. Um, in the orange, we have Paradox, who's playing as the Lithuanians. In the teal, we have Chinese for Little Matt. Um, in, the, in the purple, we have Tux playing as the Vietnamese. And then in the green, we have, I, I call this guy non-fox, uh, inside joke. What? Do you hear that? There's no noise over here. What? Is, do you hear that, right? Listen. Just allow you to, like, up your audio if you can't hear it at home. There's, like, this weird flame sound over here uh, for the Celt player. And then over here in the yellow, we've got Rosaro playing as the Hindustanis. And then, um, obviously, that's everybody. Eventual goal is to eventually control the monument, which was covered in trees earlier and now isn't. So, I don't know exactly what's happening. So, I guess... Because of their stockpiles, because they're in the negative on food, they're going to need to somehow bring in food, which is by farms, right? Um, and the nice thing is, is because Khmer is involved, they can just make farms without having to make a mill. So, so all the bonuses for these civilizations apply, which mean ten, which means ten times faster wood chopping because there's Celts. Hmm. Gray hasn't figured out why it's not possible make villagers yet and Rosaro says wait they are free wait why why would villagers be free they're all trying to figure this out along with us so can you guys tell me like what combinations maybe come to mind for these civilizations because I'm still trying to think through some of this stuff and I think we're going to be consistently surprised by it wait villagers are free because of Hindustanis oh because they're normally discounted but it's discounted times 10. Wow, okay. So someone just did the math. The Chinese and Lithuanian bonuses combined to give minus 2k food and then plus 150 food. Or sorry, 1500 food. For a total of minus 500. Okay. Interesting. I'm not the go-to on math, but I guess they... I guess they could be making villagers, but they just are housed at the moment, then, Because there's no Huns. Yeah, the, the biggest issue would be pop space, I imagine. Which I can't show here. So, I, I like this. Uh, thank you to uh, many people in my audience who suggested this. I'm sure there's many more things we could talk about here. The wood count's just insane for these guys, as you would expect. I'm trying to think about, like, team bonuses, right? Like, I'm a little disappointed we don't have the Britons. Because then everyone could go for archers with insane range. But there are other things that could apply. 
Now, do unique techs apply? That's the question we're trying to, to find an answer to because the way we're doing this, incorporating some level of Diplo is very different. So we were thinking like, you know, Celts. Well, Celts have faster firing Siege, so everyone's Siege should be firing faster because that's a team bonus thing, I think. Or is that just a normal bonus? But but yeah, like I don't know if unique techs will apply or not. And I don't know if it's automatic. Like for example, if green research is fewer Celtica, which is more HP on the siege, does that immediately apply to everyone else's siege? How does that work? Bills become negative, but only once you hit feudal. It's 10% dark age and minus 15%, then minus 20, then minus 25. Oh, yeah, so I guess the price of villagers could even change to give you resources. Interesting. I I'm excited to see how this will go. Now, um, I people are saying unique text do apply, so that's cool. I'm excited, but it's going to take some time. We have a lot of players in the dark age. I like to use this moment to kind of chill out, talk to my community, and then, of course, people who watch the videos later on. Um, if you had questions about the content or, you know, uh, you know, any recent developments or whatever you've seen and obviously, you know, keep it more myself or age focused, but I, I really value this time to be able to hang out and chill with people, even if it's people in the future who may listen to this in video form. So, um, okay. And actually on well on time here, I told someone earlier, this would be a good question to answer later on in the game. Uh, someone said, uh, Hey T90, how did you come up with your name? I would like to hear that story, please. Very interesting story. You ready? I had a favorite pair of soccer cleats or football boots, whatever you want to call them. They were called T90 Lasers. In my opinion, they're still the best cleats of all time. And when I made a username, I decided to make a T90 because of that. It's actually a Nike brand. I don't think they make any T90 stuff anymore. But that's actually where it came from. A lot of people assume because the first name is, uh, <clears throat> my first name is Tristan, that it was Tristan or T for Tristan and then 90 for my birth year, but I was actually not born in 90, so. And I was not named after the tank, which is, I think, the most popular T90 if you were to Google it, so. Uh, that's really cool. So people are talking yes. about more bonuses, but with Khmer and Celts, Khmer have plus one range on their scorpions. So that's plus 10 range on their Scorpions combined with the Kelp bonuses for Siege. I feel like Scorpions is the, should be the immediate go-to for people. Obviously, I'd like to you know talk about civilizations we actually already see in here, but there are other civs we could talk about. If someone had gone Bengalis, everyone would have gotten 20 vils per TC upon the Bengali player reaching the next age. <laughs> that would be epic. Wait, did... Yeah, that, that's wild, actually. So would that apply to every player that arrives to Feudal or just the Bengali player? Yeah, that would be more obnoxious than the 33 villagers they started with here. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah, the Chinese Scorpion bonus. Wait, what does Rocketry do again? Oh, shoot. Scorpions are going to be insane. I think Rocketry is... is um. I think it's also range, but you just had to research to get it, right? So we're talking plus 20 range on scorpions? What? And it also some damage output too? All right. Would castles be free with the Franks? That's a good point. Dang, like a lot of the discount bonuses could really give you a lot of resources too. Sheesh, okay. If T90 produced his own pair of shoes as merch, it would be shoes named after someone named after shoes. True. It would be. Okay. So, like, wait, 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 wait. Chinese techs are cheaper. So having Chinese in here also means that, like, the majority of these technologies are basically free as well, right? Upon feudal age coming in. Actually, and in... Yeah, I mean, that it just continues to stack. I think the play, and we might see it here, and some noob has already done it, is to sell off your wood for gold. I would have sold it all because you know you're going to chop more wood, right? Okay. Nike's going to sue T90 someday. 
Well, you know, I, I'm hoping I can stay somewhat popular, but stay under Nike's radar, right? Because uh, if it were me versus Nike, I, I would not have the funds to pay the lawyers that they could. <laughs> that's when I start. I got to fake a birth certificate. That, that Actually, no, that's when my whole story changes. Like, no, uh, actually, um, my favorite number has always been 90, and my first initial is T. Yeah. I have to delete, like, a thousand videos where I talked about the real story. Yeah, I, that or I could be sponsored by Nike. That's true. I mean, I'm sure the first thing that you guys think when you think T90 official is supreme athlete. So it would be a very good fit. Castledge on the way for green right now. Good stuff from these guys. Obviously, Force Nothing game will be pretty fast because they started with so many bills. I'm just excited to see the crazy units, honestly. The build-up is obviously good to, to lead us into this awesome game mode, but... Ah, that's true. Tatars. Yeah, I played Tatars 90 times. Hmm. A T90? Do really old streams automatically get deleted on this platform? I think after six months they do. I know on Twitch it was after 60 days. I think here it takes six months. It takes a lot longer. I just forget how long. I've missed all the chat that they've had, by the way. And I'm sure Paradox probably tried to make a joke. Let's just see. I guarantee Paradox tried to make a joke. Where is it? Oh, I missed it. Cliff, we neighbors. Want to be homies? All right. I can't seem to scroll up past that, so... Sorry if I missed any uh, excellent humor. Now, they're all allied to each other right now, so once markets come up, they should be able to see what everyone's up to. Whoa! Okay, that's a bug. That's freaky. Hmm. All right. T90 sounds like a graphing calculator. Yeah, because I'm so good at math. I am the number one Age of Empires 2 source on everything related to math. Surely there's no dispute on that. Imp is minus three, three, uh, 300 percent because of Byzantines. Oh crap! You know the only sad thing for me as a caster is I can't see the price of things. Like I can't hover over it like I could in game. So good pickups from people saying some of these things. I think these are important to bring up. That's the problem with anything that changes cost, is as a caster, it's tougher to pick up one. But I think at the end of the day, it's still fun to talk about, and then we can see how crazy the units will get later on. Yeah, and then Byzantines also have the cheaper skirms, the cheaper camels, too. Um, T90, do you think we'll see LAN events with live audience more often after Red Bull Wolo Legacy was such a blast? I do think we'll see more land events, yes. I don't know if Red Bull will do more. Um, I, I honestly didn't get to have as many discussions with them as I would have wanted to, so I'm going to try and do that now. Like, well, not, not right now. That would be a little awkward, but um, it's important to me, obviously, that I know kind of where they're at and what they were looking for and get a feel. Um, but I, I do know there's going to be more land events for sure. Obviously, like, two and a half years, three years or whatever of not being able to do things like that when their scene was growing because of COVID has a lot of people... Uh, there's a lot of appetite to watch LAN events, and there's a lot of appetite for fans to, to be able to go and see things like that, so... Yeah. Hmm. Why the move to Facebook from Twitch? Well, <clears throat> they made a really good deal, which was a no-brainer for me. And Twitch continues to make more and more moves, which are anti-creator and anti-viewer, because they have uh, control of the space, and they're the number one plat they're the number one uh, go-to platform for the majority of people who want to do live streaming stuff. And uh, tried my best to reach out to them, kind of see where they were at, and they just continued to remind me that I'm unimportant to them <laughs> by never acknowledging me at all. Uh, so that's that's basically the the long the long story short, right? And uh, as much as I'd love to think, right, that this is going to be a thing for me and this could be my job forever, I very much have to realize that as quickly as I grow and as quickly as I might become popular and as quickly as this and that may happen, it could all go away just as fast. Um, I, It's a scary thing to think about, right? 
but that's just the way the internet works, right? So, you know, I'm 29 years old. Want to build my a future for myself, my family, and all that good stuff. So, it was definitely uh, an emotionally difficult decision, but it was a decision I'll talk more about in the future and, and how much of a no-brainer it was for me. So, yellow and purp only to you, allies. Okay, so now the diplo kind of begins, and it's smart from green because green very much wants to have safety on the sides because with king of the hill especially on diplo it gets really annoying when you're running into people on the sides but think about it if you're going towards the middle let's say you have 60 70 units and then you're about to win it's going to be 7v1 so this could be a very long game hmm I uh, remember you talked about possibilities in tournaments and other events when you left for Facebook. Any plans? Well, there's always plans. Yeah, I have uh, another event coming up. Well, it's not another event, but this second season of Titans League coming up in a month. And then more things in the works, but very complicated to, to get things exactly where I'd want them for the events I'm looking for. So we'll see. <clears throat> Chinese, plus Teutons, plus Poles, plus Incas, plus Burgundians. Farms would be absolutely bonkers. You'd need one for insane amounts of food and gold. How oh, true, right? Because Chinese gives you more food on the farms. Teutons have cheaper farms. Poles give you the, the bonus when you build a farm next to a full work. Incas, you build them faster. <laughs> Burgundians, you get gold from the farms as well. All right, the onager cutting has begun. Don't, 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 don't. I did have uh, slight conversations with YouTube, but YouTube wasn't really interested. We'll see what the streaming sphere looks like. You know, I I'm in this for the long haul, right? So, I had streamed on Twitch for seven years. Uh, I was one of the first... I think I was one of the first 500 partners, but I have no way to verify that. I know I was one of the first 1,000 partners, so... I went from that up to the heights we had, you know, prior to leaving and being 29, I'm, I'm nowhere near finished. I think it's better for everyone if different platforms start to be competitive over the long haul, right? And we'll see where things go. But uh, for now, doing my best. I know that everyone wants to... Oh, there's the countdown. That scared me. I forgot about that. I absolutely forgot about that. Thank you, Capstrade, for putting that there. It's also in the color of the player who has it. So it's like a progress bar. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really working hard. I know not everyone can make streams for whatever reason, right? But it's important to me that I've got a different YouTube video going up with variety every day. And I don't know, I can only control so much, <laughs> right? You never know if the views are going to come, if the support's going to be there, if, uh, you know, things are going to waver, but, uh, I, I've just been working hard. I've been working hard for years, obviously, but I've been putting in more effort since the, the platform switch as well. So... Would you fight Jake Paul to promote AOE2? No. Well, I mean, no. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at that. The fact that that's such a thing these days is wild to me. So Blue says, why couldn't we just be friends? I'm not sure what that's about, but let's look at the stats on these units. So we have a Bombard Cannon with 80 HP. This is a sad realization. I don't remember. Whoa, it's a Hoof Nietzsche now. So 180 HP. The Scorpion has 7 plus 11 range. It says projectile count 10. Oh, shoot. That's because of double crossbow. That's because of double crossbow with the Khmer. I can't wait to see these things fire. Okay, and this has 15 plus 10 range. Green is coming to the middle with Siege Onagers now. Now, I wonder if... Does Green have to research Fear of Celtica for, for everyone else to get more HP? I don't... Forgive me, but I don't actually remember the base HP of the Hoof Nietzsche. 180 HP seems like a lot. And even 140 attack seems like a lot as well. I mean, that, that's insane. But... The Scorpion should be able to outrange this, right? We've got 
18 range versus uh, only eight? Oh yeah, because it's the all the the Khmer Scorpion bonuses and the Chinese bonus. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> machine gun scorpions. <laughs> Let's get an instant replay on that. <laughs> ah, this is why we this is why we live, people. Okay, so here comes green. Dump the dump the dump. I'm Celts. I've got sea janitors. Oh, this is amazing. I'm gonna own this guy. What a noob. Bam, 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 bam. I, why would you make anything but scorpions, man? That's awesome. I think everyone needs to make some scorpions. So you can make the Hoofnitsa if you're not the Bohemians as well. So that's important to note. I actually want to see what the ballista elephants will do. Um, that was a really awkward. Yeah, it's funny how sometimes the, the final bullets will get different trees. But yeah, they can cut through the trees, which is nice. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Like, is there any reason not to make scorpions? Also, are there any sieves there that don't get heavy scorpion? Because that would be sad. Again, the countdown's at 480 years, so we have time. Does it also increase their line of sight? I'm not sure, but the Byzantine... I wonder if Byzantine Free Town Watch does? Um, again, that's a graphic thing with Capture Age. But outposts are very smart from some noob. And he now starts to declare war on pretty much everybody here. But guys, remember the King of the Hill rule. You never want to be the person that goes to the middle first. You always want to come in second or third at the very least. Again, I'm really excited to see these scorpions in action. Monks will insta-heal. That's true. That's an underrated play, actually. Having monks with ballista elephants who have 650 HP. Whoa, that could be a difference maker, guys. Because the scorpions only have 50. How do they get that much HP, though? I'm confused. Also, look at the attack. Oh, my God. What bonus am I... Oh, the Vietnamese. Because the Vietnamese have uh, chatras. Which gives, like, I think it's like 50 extra HP per elephant. How do you go to 670 now? I'm very confused. He's obviously coming up a bunch of techs. Can, can you research bloodlines a million times, too? Is that what happened? Hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, is, this is insane, man. That's not even that many scorpions. <laughs> That's two scorpions. I need a monk. Boom. Hmm. Vietnamese bonus is only battle elephants. Well, then I'm still a little confused how we're getting to that much HP. Then uh, I guess we'll find out. So you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of my balloons tower defense days. Anyone ever play that game? What a classic. Gray's having fun, and Gray's like, why not make more scorpions? You know, the play might actually be for someone to cut into Gray's base and just take out his eco. Um, again, I restate, I don't know if all these civilizations actually get... Um, I don't know if all these civilizations end up getting Heavy Scorpion. Ah, elite upgrades apply 10 times as well. Okay, so that would explain some of the, the stats here as well then, right? Because Elite does bump up HP by, I think, 50, which explains the spike of about 500. And then Line of Sight is capped by the game engine at 20. But that's fine because the Scorpions don't have more than 20 range. That's nuts, though. I mean, it's a regular onager, but still. Do, 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 do. I mean... Right now, my vibe is, or my thought is, everyone should be making scorpions, but Red Clifford's Ballista Elephants could definitely change things because of their HP. But wait, like, scorpions have a pretty heavy bonus damage against elephants, so... At least they used to. I don't think that would have changed. Blue, I don't think it really has realized exactly how this can go. Blue is playing more standard with some champs. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. 
It's Scorp v Scorp. Whoa! Oh, it's the killed infantry speed! Oh, that's so crazy! Woo! Okay, a green's my favorite now. Will be interesting to see, though, if the scorpions get hit by a Hoofnita. But how can you do that? All right. Wow, this is wild. I should zoom out a little bit more, possibly. Yeah, just scorpion the scorpion. That's the meta. Oh, you've got cannons? That's cute. What are you going to do? Boom. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, -ho -ho -ho. oh my goodness. All right, outpost is gone now. Yeah, Gray's not going to have the middle for very long. Let's see, how much damage do these things take? Oh, I mean, they're taking tons of damage, is the answer. But how much damage do they do? Um. Well, okay, they're allied together right now, so this is awkward. This is so fun, man. I really hope people are enjoying this. Also, if you made it to this point in the YouTube video without fast-forwarding or falling asleep, please leave a comment about it. Let me know what you think about this. Actually, who do you think is going to win at this stage? Live viewers can say this. People on videos could do it as well. I should probably put my money where my mouth is on one of these guys, too. Ah, uh, what's yellow scheming? Uh, unimpressed. Um, I mean... I don't know, man. I gotta think about this. I, I want to say green, but it feels like that's a trap. Mm, no, it's not a trap. I go green. I think I think Celts are historically really strong in this matchup. Having something other than Scorpions is sick. But at the same time, it could be everyone against green, right? There's some random trade, which is kind of funny. Oh, you know what would be funny? So it, the Hindustanis have a trade building. I think it's called the Canissery, Venissery, Arvenissery. It's a trade building. They have a building and it makes trade faster. Does that mean it makes it 10 times faster? Uh, and then Paradox says, wonder does not work. Nice try. Nice try. Must have deleted it. Caravanissery. Okay, that's very complicated for my tongue. Yeah, it's the trade building. And if it makes it 10 times faster, you could just set up like one or two of them in a small choke point and it would be worth it. Hmm. I don't know why we're seeing laughter from Paradox. Paradox probably got wrecked by something and thinks it's ridiculous. Trade party. Oops, 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 oops. Trade party on the farm. All right. So far, I think Khmer and Celts are the two most exciting things. There's still... The, the thing about this, too, is we could do this, like, once a week, and we could test out so many different things. Now we have Elite Rats and Archer for purple. Wait, so since purple's allied with everyone, and they started as allies... What would paper money do? It's sad, but we rarely see paper money, so I always forget what it is at this point because it's been changed so many times. The trade can't get through the scorpions. I don't get why every tech is free. Is it bugged? No, it's because of Chinese, right? It's because of Chinese cheaper tech stacking. Look at Red's trade. Yeah, I see it. You shouldn't be bringing any additional gold. Oh, they get gold from chopping wood now. Oh, that's true. Wow, this is this this dance party is really getting crazy. Oh, he's invited a friend. She's not happy. He's like, guys, seriously, I'm just trying to farm here. Yellow says, I saw that. Oh, there's a trade building. Okay. Oh, everyone can make one now. I see. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, we Okay, I, I'm seeing what they're doing now. Whoa! Oh my god! Scorpions are insane, man! Good luck, Onager. Oh no, that's his own Onager. Whoa! 
<laughs> how do you stop these scorpions? I like how Gray finally said, why would I ever make anything else? And just has made only scorpions. Oh, that is satisfying to look at. Okay. A couple bugging units. It's mainly the trade that seems to be getting stuck all the time. Yellow is going to try and blast some scorpions with a cannon. Oh, that's worth it, actually. If you, you just need to do that 30 more times. And there goes yellow with more siege workshops in a panic. Okay. Machine gun scorpions. And now green's coming in on this side as well, which is incredibly sad for yellow. And yellow's villagers are getting slaughtered. And uh, they're rushing towards the scorpions that are killing them right now. So we are probably going to see yellow go down then. I don't think yellow has much of a chance. It's sad, but someone has to die. And my goodness, man. Check the HP on the buildings. Oh, true. Yeah, the HP is really high because of Byzantines, right? Because of the Byzantine HP. So you've got, you know, town centers that have tons of HP, but scorpions are taking them out no problem. Dang. I'm going to change my prediction to yellow. Really? Yellow? I mean, we do have siege elephants. Hmm... Oh my god, the battle elephants have 1300 HP. Ooh. Hmm. I guess green could be coming to defend yellow. Green's also gonna make trade, which is really smart. Mm. You definitely want, like, units that stack range and then stack HP. I think those are the important things in these types of modes. Okay, here go the elephants. This is so sad, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Look how look how slow and depressed they are as they run towards the scorpions. I mean, I would be too. I think we all would. A far too beautiful a creature to be sent to the slaughter like this. Speedy halbs go burr, then get wrecked. Yeah, they do. But I think if you can get in close to the scorpions, it might be worth it. Also, have you ever seen a castle just get... Whoa, 17,000 HP? Dang. Have you ever seen a castle get taken out by scorpions? Because I think we're about to. Still only 50 HP on the scorpions. That's what has me thinking there might be a way to counter it. Okay, Imp Skirm ain't bad. All right. I don't even see your Imp Skirm. Okay. Okay, this, this is the moment of truth. This will really help us figure out what's good and what's not as far as melee units are concerned. The choke points just got to be awful for the elephants, right? No way! Charge! Oh, and the scorpions stack as well! Scorpions suck! Scorpions suck! It's elephants that are good! Why did we think scorpions could be good? I mean, elephants are not good in yellow's case. But the other elephants are good. Dang, and Khmer elephants are real speedy, too. I guess all... And that would apply to all elephants at this point. Dang, man. 1,300 HP on a battle elephant. Okay, so red is kind of coming over here to defend. Let's see. This is a lot more than earlier. Okay, nope. Scorpions are amazing again. I was wrong. Scorpions OP. <clears throat> Can't stop it. 1300 HP elephants are just melting. But can you hold the middle with scorpions? Because you have the. That's the thing, is you kind of have to stack units here, and they could always be hit, you'd think. I think you definitely need a combination. By the way, right now it's 220 years on purple, but everyone could turn on purple. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow says, why can't you just go for the monument like a civilized person? <laughs> oh, God. Is there a range difference here? Actually, there's a there's a plus one range difference. I think because of maybe siege engineers being researched. And that plus one range difference made all the difference there. So you definitely got to get siege engineers if you can. But green probably just... He's like, I tried, but I guess yellow's dead. Hmm. 
All right. I can see why people love these mods, by the way. This is really cool. And then what I've found in these game modes is we do it once, and suddenly people learn more and more and more and more and more. Oh, Imp Skirms. Check this out. Look, look at all the range. Holy range, man. Oh, that's Pierce Armor. Excuse me. Yeah, that would be the unique tech for the Lithuanians, I think. I don't think there's any other Skirm Pierce Armor bonuses. Yeah, the range actually sucks. I guess you would have to have Aztecs to get more Skirm range. Yeah, cutting more of the trees would make sense. I like how Orange is stocking, uh, stacking Bombard Towers. And the Bombard Towers have... Oh my god, I just it just clicked with me. So not only is it Byzantines with HP, but it's the Chinese Great Wall technology. So in fact, any walls, castles, everything, the reason is because of Byzantines and Chinese, because Great Wall stacks HP on those things. 27,000 HP. I like how the Lonely Latest just ran in there. Well, Yellow doesn't want to die, obviously, and, and Green feels he could be next. I'm excited to see how this fight's going to go in the middle. I feel like Scorpions and then Elite Battle Elephant is the way. And yeah, Blue, what's Blue doing? <laughs> blue blue uh, is just now going to trade. And okay, now purple turns on everyone. Purple's going to Purple's going to send a message that he's going for it here. And it's obviously great to get a head start. But now everyone should start to talk together, talk and say, "Hey, listen guys, like we need to go to the middle. Let's not play these crazy games." And Paradox is perp bad. Red's gonna to join in. Purple just is bored, which I guess is fair. This is the difference between one range. L look at this. Because of the way scorpions work, it makes such a big difference, man. Alright, red turns. So, the battle elephants have double the HP. But they obviously all take damage. And now Gray runs in here with some halbs as well. Wow, the halbs are actually doing a really good job there. I'm trying to click them for their stats. And just still, there's no like HP. I guess like if Vikings was here, infantry would have more HP there. But remember, it's not just the strength of the units, but it's also how many of them can you make. And what are your resources like? And that's not something I've really had time to check. But this is insanity. Now, green could come to the middle and really help out, but obviously gray is still, you know, preoccupied with pushing yellow and could eventually be green. We still have 145 years left, but purple's doing it. I don't think Chukanu are going to do all that much here. Actually, I haven't seen them fire because with rocketry, they should be doing a lot of damage. Oh, God. Teal, 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 teal. Yeah. Ah! Back away. Okay. Red says we need help, which should prompt other people to join the party. And now let's see how much damage the Chukunu do. That's only 20 Chukunu. And there's more behind. Uh, what's happening here? Did he click one unit in particular? I mean, obviously, as long as there's no scorpions, I actually think the Chukunu are really good. And the problem is they're going to melt to the scorpions. But wow, okay. Yellow's going to try and reboom. But purple, despite how strong he looked a moment ago, is definitely going to be mopped up here. And purple can't believe it. Look, look at those Shukunu. Woo! It's just 90 HP on the Shukunu and lack of range compared to the Scorpions. Is oh, 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 oh my! Oh my god! Is a problem. Don't sleep on the Hoofnitsa here. Woo! What am I supposed to do against that, says Blue? Well, not champions, my friend. Not champions, not cataphracts. I mean, maybe cataphracts, but not champion. <laughs> you gotta use something that stacks bonuses. Holy crap, man. This is fun. This is awesome. Also, uh, I believe most people would have predicted at the 40-minute mark that it would have been green winning. And green is not. 
Neil, don't. Neil, says Red Clifford. Okay, who's Neil? Can you stop speaking in first names? Do not what? Oh, I didn't know he was Neil. Oh, so he's Neil. Okay, so I know. I've known Paradox, but I didn't actually know. You know, sometimes people don't use a page. I don't really know who's who in the chat here. And oh! And Paradox is Teal Y. Well, that's a good question, actually. Maybe Teal's taste getting a taste of glory here. Hmm. Okay. Again, shout to, shout out to Capture Age for this. Obviously, every time it changes hands when it's below 100 years, it will go back up to 100. So you need to hold it for 100 straight years. Celt Scorpion still moving in. Not convinced that infantry is necessarily your go-to in the long term now. I think it's elephants and scorpions. Let's see how these things hold up. Oh! Uh... Okay, don't kill your own scorpions here, Teal. I mean, I think that... I think that Paradox is gonna kill Teal because Teal decided to turn. I think that was a fatal move by Teal. I think Paradox is just gonna raid like crazy. Uh, the Winged Hussars don't have crazy bonuses, but if you kill like 100 plus villagers, that could be good for the long term. There's the stockpiles, by the way, at the bottom left. I think this is important to talk about. There actually is plenty of wood for Teal, so losing Lumberjacks isn't the end of the world. And the gold's still there, too, so maybe I'm wrong. Green, do Green and red have actual gold workers, though, which would be trade. Dang. I mean, look how long it takes these Bombard Towers to go down, but they are going down. So, I've told this story before. As I briefly just had the tab out to fix the chat that I now realize is blue. Uh, I told this story before, but since we're thinking about Bloons Tower Defense now. Um, so I used to work up in like the sound room, they called it, at my church growing up. Uh, I was in a very religious family. And so I did the projector screen for like any of the worship music uh, or any of the, uh, you know, pastor sermons or whatever. I was in control of it in the back room. And so obviously, like, people thought, like, it was a very important job. People thought naturally they had paid attention. All I did was play Blue and Sour Defense and, uh, <clears throat> watch soccer games. That's all I did. But, like, Blue and Sour Defense was a lot of fun. And that's what this takes me back, man. Of course, it's not, they're not getting progressively stronger, but what a spot we're at right now. That's the story. That's the end of it. It doesn't get any crazier than that. Is it really loud for you guys? Can you still hear me? I hope you. I hope you're still with me. Fifty-nine years for Teal, but Teal's getting destroyed. So Teal is going to be out of this game. I think Teal chose the wrong person to mess with. At least chose the wrong time. Tuck says, "Is this even watchable?" Yeah, of course it is. This is awesome. You have to try the new bl new balloons tower defense games. They're still awesome. Really. Oh, man. I don't need another game to get sucked into. I got sucked back into Rocket League recently. So, that's that's another game that I've been playing on stream from time to time. It's good for me to have a mix uh, away from Age of Empires occasionally, you know? Farming sim occasionally, which I've been doing with my bro. All that content's on the extras channel, by the way. Not the Rocket League stuff, but I don't think that makes for good YouTube content. Anyways, Yellow's back, and Yellow is really annoyed of, from what Gray did earlier, and well played to Yellow. Very impressed. And the Ghulams have 155 HP. They have tons of Pierce Armor, and uh, it might actually finish Gray off. And now, you know, this has changed hands a couple times, but I think Red's looking like the favorite, just because Red has good position. I think Teal will die. And then, of course, Orange is probably going to come to the middle. What is Blue doing? I actually very... I keep forgetting about Blue. Also, this is a this is a game bug. I thought it was a Capture Age bug recently, but it's actually a game bug. Where the left corner will have noises with Onagers and Scorpions. I blamed it on Capture Age for a few months until I realized that's actually happening in-game as well. Blue hasn't had any part of this in the middle. Blue's just... 
chilling out, having a good time. And is going to cut in towards gray. But remember, blue can see all this stuff. Blue doesn't know what to do. That was what blue had said. What do I do against this? 80 years. Red could take it. They need to all start pushing mid. Obviously, Paradox is, is still trying to worry about teal. But Paradox needs to honestly lose these. Get rid of the winged hussars. I don't think the winged hussars are going to be of any value. And get to the middle. Is this nine times tech just got here? No, uh, the devs screwed up again with a new patch and they've broken everything. It's, it's just normal game. So just go play 1v1 Arabia and Fast Castle Scorpion until they fix it. Trust me, it's awesome. Hmm. Well, I'm excited for blue. And Paradox says no teal. That's not how this works. I'm not sure. It's probably him saying, like, no, you can't be friends with me now. <laughs> you can't be friends with me after you attacked me. Hmm. All right. Uh, maybe spread your elephants up a little bit here, purple. You definitely don't want your elephants to be in a line like this. That is the worst possible po formation for your elephants. But I appreciate you actually going to the middle. A uh, needs a cannon would be epic here on these scorpions because there's, like, 20 or 30 of them stacked right there. But all you need to do is reset that countdown. That's all this needs to accomplish. Simply reset the countdown. I don't think it's possible. Not yet, anyways. Wood Raiders are kind of helping, kind of not. Now we have winged Hussars. These things don't have any HP bonuses. So they should melt, right? Oh, they're allies right now. Actually, what Paradox can do then is he can get on top of it. That's exactly what he should do. He should get on top of it and then switch. These are some crucial hits from Green Scorpions. Oh, if he could just direct them towards this this little group. Oh! Okay. 42 years for red. There's no allied victory with King of the Hill, guys. At least I don't think so, anyways. 40 years for red. The stables are not close enough. I think the stables would need to be further forward. I thought that maybe red would do that. Red's still barely hanging on. But I think the key here is that green has the scorpions following up, and green should be able to hit red scorpions. Blue is fighting something? I, yeah, I see that. Blue killed gray, I guess. Gray's out of the game. Teal's out of the game as well. They're all defeated. And now yellow is going to turn on red. And here comes <laughs> yellow with the gulums. Let's go. <laughs> They're so fast. Okay, well, I don't think red can hold the middle then. I think this will reset. Yeah, the reinforcements are cut off. And it is reset now to purple. It will obviously lose it, and then it'll be reset to yellow. It will probably lose it, and then it'll be reset to somebody else, and this could be an ongoing cycle. Hmm. Wow, the Gulams are extremely powerful. I was not expecting them to be so good. I think it's the speed combined with the HP and attack, but... Also, the fact that red wasn't actually attacking yellow. <laughs> that was definitely part of the problem. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of people out there. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> it looks so slow. <laughs> oh. I think there's a lot of people out there who are really rooting for blue right now. Oh, man. Uh, he, hey, he's about to boom on two TCs. Blue's getting there. If this game continues to... To go as it's going, Blue can eventually figure it out and get there. Still a big question of what you make if you're Blue, I guess. I think Paradox might be a favorite too because Paradox is starting... He, he really likes the idea of raiding people. He's still got the dance party in his base. I'm sure he's excited about that. But you just can't sleep on the middle. Like You always have to think about it. And this is where... It gets so frustrating in Diplo, right? Because green's like, I've got it. And then all of a sudden, purple turns. And now green has to change. And he does. But now all the scorpions are going to go down. Great job from purple there. Wouldn't imp camels attack 250% faster? They would do so, yes. And also what would be interesting is stable units from the Hindustanis would also destroy buildings faster. So that could be pretty wild as well. Hmm. How's Blue's trade doing? Alright, there's Blue's trade. Doesn't even have Caravan, right? 
Just passing from Mr. Paradox. All right, just passing into Purple's base. Obviously, Purple's one of the threats to win the game. Tried to win the game before as well. The Hussars have been a great raiding tool. I wonder if Paradox will go back to Scorpions, though. I feel like that's going to be the key, right? Hmm. Would the Huns insta-spawn from their stables? I think they would. But I don't think production speed... Well, actually, production speed can be pretty crazy. But then again, you'd like... You, if you can't make elephants, it feels like you're going to have a tough time. I could be wrong on that, though. There's so many combinations we have yet to see. I want to know what Torsen Engines would do. Torsen Engines with Ethiopians? With these Scorpions? Like, if one of these players with Ethiopians, Scorpions would be even stronger. And then Scorpions would be by far the best unit, I think. I'm trying to think if there's any other siege bonuses that could apply. <laughs> Look at that latest. That latest just strolling right by. <laughs> oh. oh my god. This mod is normally played on Amazon Tunnel 4v4. Well, I kind of like how all the bonuses apply to every player, though. Because, like, in a 4v4... It's possible that you could just get a combination, which is simply impossible to stop. Here, since all the bonuses apply to every player, it makes it really enjoyable. Yeah, obviously, like in a standard team game, it could be cool. And I guess then you have trade and all that fun stuff, so it's more like a normal game. Koreans would be pretty crazy. Well, I think it's just the Manganel line that gets the extra range, right? It doesn't apply to their Scorpions. Oh, Drill, too, with, with Mongols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't even slow-mo that and have that look slow. Let's see. Let's try that again. This is as slow as I get half speed. <laughs> Just mowed down, man. All right. Anyways, back to normal speed. Yeah, towers could be pretty insane as well. It depends what angle you want to you want to take. Again, the stockpiles here are very important here because you need resources to make these units. And I think green might be the favorite actually, just because of the gold count. But then again, blue. What is blue doing? Oh god. Oh no. Oh guys, haven't haven't you learned not to take this road during rush hour? There's so much traffic. Move the. Guys, move it along, please. Move out of the way. Let the trade carts go to their destination, man. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Ugh. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's this is what can happen sometimes. They only have one freaking road. People have been complaining about this for decades. Still only have one road. It's shameful how little they do with their tax money there. All right. This Wode Raider is ready to go. Okay, he's free. Never mind. Mm. Tux apparently rang the town bell. Because Gulams and Pikes are in. They're doing a really pretty good job of taking out those town centers, aren't they? The elephants have to come back. Remember, the elephants were attacking the latest there. All makes it look pretty good for green or red, right? The only thing that hurts green is the lack of siege engineers. I thought Kelt's got siege engineers. Does he just not research it, or am I forgetting? Oh, that's painful. 70 years. They can't forget about the middle. Oh, 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 God. Never mind. Who needs siege engineers? Well, if one unit can run in here, it can reset in a second. And Paradox is going to go to the middle. Oh, there's elephants here from red, though. Okay, here come the very speedy infantry units from yellow yet again. Actually, very good surround there before they got boinked. And green reset it. Okay. Do Caddis have 500 HP? Yeah, they do. Um, I don't know if that's enough, though. I'm really... I mean, we just haven't seen them engage, right? And for blue, the way blue has cut is so far away from the monument, it just takes so long to get to the middle. Oh god, the latest just got mopped. 
I'm liking some of the combinations people are thinking of. Definitely something we'll have to test more and more. And I like this too because it's not 256 tech, which gets... I mean, I love 256 tech, don't get me wrong. But I felt like we kind of... We discovered all the possibilities, you know? This, you, you also have to combine civilizations, which makes it a little bit more buried. Don't get heavy scorp, bro, or siege engineers. Oh, true. He doesn't get heavy scorp. So, probably not worth it to make scorpions then. Maybe regular scorpions would actually still be very good. But Paradox is right. I think going for the eco is probably the way. Kumans, Tatars, Mongols, Franks, Bulgarians, Turks, Hindustanis. Usars move super fast, massive HP, highly armored, and bonus damage against buildings. I'm just wondering how they would face up in an attack against an elephant. With a couple bonuses, you know? Oh, actually, you know what would be exciting about the Cataphract is the uh, the trample damage. Yeah, you're right. That would be awful. That would be awesome, excuse me. Guys, yellow and purple really hate each other. They need to, like, purple doesn't have a lot right now. The winged Hussars probably aren't going to fly. They need to make some moves against red. Or red's going to win. Blue has yet <laughs> to show any urgency here. <laughs> I love blue so much. What are we going to do? Going to go chop wood on the far side of the map. Okay. You don't want to chop wood towards the middle. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever had a player in these settings be so relaxed. <laughs> Blue's just chilling. Just chilling. All right, Wing Tussars came in. Nah, it's, they've got to go, man. They've got to, they all have to make a move. Green has a hundred scorpions though. And red is really low on the scorpion numbers. And red only has, I say only, only has a thousand gold. That said, red has trade. And, oh god, it's glitching. But red has trade, at least. Not all of it's working. So that's going to help out with the golden cup. They need a countdown reset here if they want to continue to do their shenanigans with attacking uh, each other's bases. And the countdown reset's going to happen, just like that. All right. Yellow just reset it. Now yellow's going to leave and just pass it. Can the wonder in the center be destroyed? I've noticed in the past that the wonders take damage, but I've never seen it get down to zero. I've seen it get close to zero, so I actually don't know. It's not supposed to be able to be destroyed, let's put it that way. And I actually forget what... <laughs> oh my god. I actually forget what actually do does damage to it. Hmm. Alright, I mean, green with the scorpions. Yellow's units have gone down. Orange's units are going to go down as well. And he says, you know, Spies is free. So Red and Orange are talking to each other. They clearly want to work together, at least for now, it seems. Seem to be good buds. I think they're both from the UK. I believe so. Not that everyone from the UK is good buds. Far from it, but, you know, I think so. Wait, actually, isn't Paradox Scottish? Maybe they're both Scottish. <laughs> Whatever. They're both in the same half of the... <laughs> both the same half of the planet. Pretty sure Paradox is Scottish. I should just shut up. I think last time I casted Paradox, I said he was 1,300. And then he, he messaged me on Discord and said, I'm 1,600. How dare you? Scottish, British, and yeah, whatever. It's all the same thing, right, guys? It's all the same. I'm sure they won't get offended by that. Scottish is UK. It is... But when I say UK, I say, I think England for some reason, because that's how stupid my brain is and how bad my education was. How did that thing survive for so long? Everyone from the UK hates everyone else from other parts of the UK. It's part of our culture. Wait, I thought you guys were so welcoming and, and inviting of, of other people. Are you serious? Wow, that's a, that's a big surprise. Anyways, we're going to go back to the game now before I embarrass myself or others further. 60 years for green. 
And, oh, yellow's gonna turn. Yellow's gonna turn. Yellow, turn. Yellow! What are you doing? It's king of the hill, not king of the castle. Come on. Get in there and turn. Here we go. Zoom. Perfect. Turn. Zoom. Perfect. Maybe yellow wants green to win. Because green kind of saved yellow earlier. Zoom. Woo! Big attack. Yeah, I think yellow wants green to win because green had tried to... Well, pr pretty much did save uh, him earlier. Scorpion seem to be the key. Dance party. There's something in there that's green. I can't see it. Oh, there's the Wood Raider. Okay. Purple's on the move. 40 years left. I think this has been... I think this is as close as it's gotten. Will Blue make a mad dash to the middle? This is your time, Blue. There's actually a path for Blue. I want to see the Cataphracts with the trample damage make a difference here. Now, Paradox is saying it's GG, I think. But they all need to talk together. Like, not to just individuals, but the whole group. Think about it. By the time Blue gets there, it's going to be at, like, 20 years. They need to go fast. Taking out the Siege Workshops is actually a good move for the long term, but... It might be too little too late. Has Blue killed the unit this game? <laughs> Blue has zero kills, zero deaths. Blue, come on, buddy. <laughs> Maybe Blue doesn't know it's king of the hill. Yellow is happy to assist green in taking the middle. 20 years. Come on. DG, let's go. Come on. Gray's congratulating him. Obviously, Gray's dead. Come on, Blue. <laughs> This is your time. <laughs> Red signaling is like anybody. Though he completely mistyped that. Oh, blue's got to make some castles first. All right. Okay. Well, here come the elephantos. They're going to die. We've got 122 scorps. Here come the elephants. Whoa! I don't remember when they were elephants. Elephants? Where? I don't see elephants. Wow. Now, Red's not too happy that Yellow was helping, but I understand it. And hey, getting some kills. Yeah, Blue. Let's go, baby. Let's go. GG. Uh, and oh, Cataphracts on the move. Cataphracts are on the move, uh, but we've got two years. Green's going to win this game. Scorpions are strong, guys. Scorpions are strong. Most created unit by the winning player, 953 Scorpions. I like that. I like that a lot. And the beauty of this is it spices up Force Nothing a little bit. It does actually make Force Nothing a little bit faster if you think about it. And uh, there's different combinations too. I think the Scorpion combination is going to be very hard to stop. Particularly if Ethiopians are involved as well. Force and engines times 10, ooh, that's dangerous. But um, there are different directions you could possibly go with it. There's different combinations we could do, not only with the units that you make, but also with the way you get resources. Now, I don't know the math on this, but someone had mentioned if you stack farms and you do like Chinese, uh, Poles, Burgundians, all the farm bonuses, you make one farm with Burgundians, how many resources are you going to get from that farm? It could be really, really fast, right? It is possible, though, that Scorpions might just be the best unit in this. Um, and if you don't have Heavy Scorpion, you're going to have big problems. Now, to be fair to the players, they did get to pick their sieves. So I'm not sure, like, you know, maybe it's, it's picking on Paradox a little bit. But, like, Lithuanians, after seeing it, don't feel like a sieve where there's like these bonuses that really shout out at you. But I'm not completely sure. You guys are saying repeat, repeat with blue. Repeat what? Repeat the matchup? The only th sad thing about this for me is that we didn't get to see the Cataphracts trample damage. I, I feel like there's a world where the trample damage might extend to like a couple tiles around the, the Scorps, and then it would be really strong. By the way, um, 
once Fear of Celtica was researched, the Scorpion HP went up to 250. I didn't notice that. I had assumed he had researched it earlier and it didn't come in. It took Green a while to get it, but then all the Scorpions went up to 250. What tech made the Scorpions fire so quickly? Um, the Kelt. So it was it was Kelt firing speed. It was Khmer range. It was Chinese range. I forget exactly the how the Chinese rocketry bonus is worded, but it was that. Uh, I think that was it. Honestly, isn't trample damage limited to five? It it might be limited. I'm just not sure, Step Lancer. But even five, if you get in close enough, could mop up scorpions because of the way they stack. Obviously, Blue would have had some problems getting there because the production buildings weren't close. But anyways, I, I had fun. I would love to hear comments on YouTube but it's different stacks we could try. Obviously, for people who want to play in my community games in the future, what you could do is, is you could steal some ideas from the comments, stack it together. Um, yeah, it's a really fun mod. Whoever made this mod, uh, hats off to you. I'd actually heard of it like last year. Uh, I don't think it's that new, but we never really tried it. And it seems to be being updated relatively frequently, which is always big for me. That way we don't have too many issues starting the games and things like that. So again, very happy. Well played, everybody. I hope everyone who played had fun. And I hope everybody who watched had a good time as well. Good stuff.